Today we're finally going over the Rag Company's brand new Ultra Air tools, mainly the Ultra Air Blaster. It's the one I've used predominantly here in the cleaner studio. I have the other tools here on my nice little Omni wall. Looks really good on the wall. I'll tell you what though, haven't touched this engine blaster, not one time. It's, uh, you know, it's big, it's awkward, looks cool on the wall though, but I haven't tried that one. Haven't had uh, specifically an engine bay or some dirty enough door jams to kind of pull it out and use usually just pressure wash the door jams, but I've seen people do some good work with this one on uh, you know, Facebook and that kind of deal, cleaning door jams. Looks like it does a really good job. One day I'm gonna deep dive into the engine blaster and use it on an engine bay. Haven't got a chance to do it yet or haven't had the right job come in for the job. Next up, we got the Ultra Air dressing sprayer or whatever you call it. This one is definitely probably the most polarizing. You're gonna hate it, you're gonna love it. I tell you what, if you're a fan of the Harbor Freight spray gun. We all know that one, top fed, that kind of deal. I would definitely say you're gonna love this one for sure. Bottom fed, it's easier to kind of control and maneuver and feel because of the bottom feed. It has an adjustable pattern on it that you're gonna like as well. And it doesn't completely blow through the product in a timely manner. For me though, every time I've used it, it's completely fogged up the studio. Definitely not the biggest fan, neither was I a fan of using the Harbor Freight sprayer for dressings. Just not a fan of kind of spray applied dressings. I did talk with the rag company. They did suggest that the designated dressing for this is the optimum, I'll pop it up here, tire gel or tire bond or whatever it is. It is designed to kind of be used in a sprayer type situation. I haven't tried that one. I've never tried that dressing, but it is the recommended one. Uh, I think they missed an opportunity where they could have kind of rebranded that dressing. If I'd have been the rag company, I'd have definitely hit up optimum and been like, hey, let's uh, kind of white label this dressing, throw the rag company ultra air dressing uh, label on it and paired it up with this device if that's like kind of the designated tire dressing makes total sense to me but you know is what it is with that situation but so far i haven't used a dressing with it that doesn't fog up the studio and it's uh not good not fun now the ultra air blaster plus this one has been a super success i've been using a surfactant polymer based rinseless in here and it's been fantastic it gives you some fantastic cleaning abilities with the agitation of the spinning metal nozzle and this has been a fantastic unit here in the studio. It's been a big, big win. But the star of the show in this episode is the standard Ultra Air Blaster. Definitely my favorite of the lineup. And it's been a big win here in the cleaner studio. I've been using it since it came out. What'd this come out? I think these came out in September or October. So I've been using it ever since. I've had zero problems with the units so far. I've seen a couple complaints online that this will freeze up. I'll give you some tips to uh, relieve that situation at the end of the video, but this is what we're using today. I pair these up with my Cobalt Quiet Tech, 80% quieter, it's a really quiet unit, really nice. It's 26 gallon, it's 4.5 SCFM at 90 PSI, that is the recommended air compressor specs that the rack company suggests for these tools. And uh, today, we're, I'm just gonna show you how I've been using it how we blow out the vehicle and uh, how adding a blowout tool and the blowout procedure to the beginning of interior detail can save you a lot of time, a lot of, and really step up your efficiency in the interior game. But there we go. We're just gonna quick connect this bad boy and we're off to the races. All right, so we're ready to start our blowout procedure. What I like to do is start here on the passenger side. I like to blow out the center console, move the stuff that way so it's not coming at me in the face. And then I work my way back out the passenger door. So let's get to it. Now as we move this way, I got a rinseless dampened towel. And guess what? We can just lean over. Hit that air vent. Here's another air vent. Hit that air vent. One more over here. This is the Ivan LaCroix trick. And you've just blown out the air vents nicely with a rinseless dampened towel. And now in kind of one motion, we've blown out the middle, we've taken the plastic cups out, we've uh, blown out our air vents, and now we're gonna do the passenger side. When it comes under the seat, I like to blow everything towards the back. Don't forget that little pocket. Now we've pushed everything kind of under the seat to the back. We'll take care of that in a minute. We've loosened up all these fibers. You can see this is a car that's never been detailed. So, I mean, it just has sand and dirt all ingrained where the mat wasn't covering it. 
but this will start waking up those fibers, all that good stuff. Don't forget your pockets. All right, forgot to hit record for this section, but what we did was uh, after that we blew the debris out from under the seat towards the back, we then pushed the debris from this side, going that way, continuing our circle path around the vehicle. Uh, pretty straightforward there. Now on the driver's side, we got one more vent to blow out, so we can go ahead and hit that. With the rinseless damp and towel math method, you can give it a little wipe. Good to go. Out. And I like to blow all this out in this direction. So you can see how doing this process greatly reduced the amount of work when it comes to the vacuuming step. Done in a relatively super fast manner, especially when you're not trying to describe what you're doing to the good people on YouTube. The blowout essentially has loosened up all the debris out of the carpets and greatly sped up the efficiency. Now we're just gonna get everything vacuumed and I'm gonna show you some after results and how much a good blowout and just vacuum can uh, get a vehicle looking that much better. So there you go, that's kind of my method to the madness when it comes to blowing out and vacuuming vehicles. I think this is a very, very good tool to have. Wakes up them fibers, perfect way to start any level of detail really, whether it's maintenance, whether it's a vehicle like this, which clearly is gonna need more. Work on getting those heavy stains out of that carpet and all that good stuff. But to start a detail, to uh, be more efficient, the Rag Company Ultra Air Blaster, great tool. You can see I've used also the Tornador for many, many years, it never let me down. Besides the cone, I've replaced a couple times. The, uh, if you drop this a couple times, it'll definitely, this little plastic thing will break and that kind of deal. You can get metal cones or metal line cones to help uh, the wear out process. But after years of using the Tornador, the Rag Company Ultra Air, I think is definitely a big improvement for pretty much the same price. You get this super cone. If you watch their video, watch Carlos Serrano's video, they ran over the cone and it still survives. If you run over that one, it'll definitely shatter. It's got the metal uh, tube inside the thing and I'm gonna show you how to clean it right now. So we got the rinseless bucket where we had those rinseless damp and towels. Uh, soap so you see how dirty it is now put it in here after every time you use it after every detail give it a little cleaning cycle and check that out it's gonna keep that thing spinning like brand new you can squirt a little WD-40 down there it'll keep it lubed up and like I said it should keep it running for you like brand new every single time
I haven't had any problems. So there you go, from my method to uh, cleaning them, all that good stuff. I've been loving the Ultra Air Blaster and uh, we got one to give away. So all you gotta do is drop a comment, hit that like button, and uh, we'll run you through the random generator and we'll get, we'll say a week's time from this moment here, whenever this video is released, we'll uh, put your comment in a random generator, pick a winner, and someone will win an Ultra Air Blaster. So good luck to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. I'll drop the link to uh, this one below. It's my favorite one. It's the most basic, most simple, and I think the most effective out of the whole Ultra Air system. It's fantastic. That's all I got for this one. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you on the next one.